Hi guys, welcome back to another video. I'm Fit with Leo and I'm here to guide you through your fitness journey. Today I wanted to go over my year of 2023 with you, see what I've done and what kind of training I've accomplished and I've just been in a place where I don't really know what the next step for my training is so I'm thinking like looking back retrospectively at it might help to know like what to implement in 2024 for me and what to get rid of which behaviors to keep or to change in the upcoming year that's just gotten started if you're new here and would like to see more fitness related content make sure you subscribe and feel free to binge watch my videos after you've watched this one or even during clicking on other videos i'm happy to help so i have my garmin connect profile right over here on my laptop and i'm going to walk you guys through everything i did in 2023 i'm going to share my stats with you and hopefully i can learn what i want to change in 2024 for my fitness journey. Let's dive right in. So I am going to start with the daily summary. Today, right now, it is Tuesday, January 23rd. Is it? My god, time flies by. I thought we were like start of January and like it's almost the end. This is crazy. Okay, anyway, back to the focus. Uh, it says my resting heart rate right now is 52 beats per minute, which I'm happy about. Um, I had kind of like December and start of January. It was kind of higher, about 65, and I don't really know why. I think it's because of the stress of the finals, but also I wasn't getting my fitness in as much and my nutrition really took a hit. So I think that really impacted my resting heart rate and overall fitness condition. I decided to make it more of a focus on fitness. I was really focused on studying and getting good grades. I kind of let my fitness out of it, so I'm like back on track right now and I'm training a little more, getting more movement and it feels amazing. And my heart rate is like lowering, so I'm feeling pretty good about this. Body battery right now, we're at 74 today. I had a pretty intense workout yesterday, if you haven't seen it. I posted it on my Instagram. I literally post daily on Instagram everything I do. But yeah, it was pretty intense yesterday, so I'm a little less well rested. And then when I woke up this morning, I kind of felt like I needed a rest day or like active recovery or something less intense. Uh, yesterday, I had 183 intensity minutes in one day. Like, that's a lot. Whoop and Garmin told me that, like, you're not as ready to train. Like, maybe take a rest day, or enjoy a smoother day. So that's what I'm aiming for. Right now, my HRV is 72 on Garmin. Here are the numbers. In the last 12 months, I've logged 287 activities. I have a distance, total distance of activities of 612 kilometers. 172 hours total and my total ascent is 536 meters which I'm going to explain is a little low for me and this is something I kind of want to work on this year. In terms of my personal records, this year, like in 2023, I had some records and some others were in 2021. And I will intent on breaking those this year because 2021 is kind of a long time. I think three years is fine. Like I'm going to break the record. In terms of steps, once again, this is a full graph of the whole year. I have a lot in April. April, May through July. As you can see, it's going back up in January as we're starting the new year, but November and December were kind of lower, but I have a total of almost 3 million steps. That's a lot of steps. I'm happy with that. Wow. Okay. I have a total distance is 2,256.3 kilometers. It's a lot of kilometers. And I average a daily 8,100 steps, which I'm really happy be about an average weekly of 56,000. You know, I'm not mad about that. I used to be able to do 100k months very often and I don't know how I did it because I'm, I'm restarting like this 10,000 steps a day thing and it's really hard on me. My most steps in a day was set in 2021. It was at 34,014 steps and that is insane. I don't know what I did that day. I think I went like on a hike or something. 
when it comes to running and this is the interesting part because I consider myself a runner mostly you can see them on the screen I'm just looking at them on my computer because I can't like put them on my screen right away I'll have to do it when I edit this year I had my one mile record broken at six minutes and one second there I also had my 5k record broken at 21 minutes and five seconds and my 10k at 43 minutes 53 seconds which is crazy okay in 2023 so this is this year i logged the most steps in a week which was 111,093 steps in a week i am planning on doing a video about my half marathon that i ran in two hours and two minutes and i burnt 29,648 calories running which is pretty good again a weekly average of 570 and a monthly average of 2400 in terms of time i ran 47 hours 48 minutes and 32 seconds that's pretty good and in terms of average weekly is about an hour weekly and the average monthly is about four hours run per month i wish it was higher honestly i thought it'd be higher but again you know october november that was pretty low this is pretty interesting to see that may and january are actually my biggest months for running i guess i need to run more like between june and january and then this summer is because I work and I have a really physical training job, so I don't log in as many runs. I trained in the gym a lot, that might explain it. I have ran 462.2 kilometers in distance and I average about 9 kilometers weekly and 38.5 kilometers monthly, which isn't bad but it's not as high as i would like it to be i'd like it to be a little higher october november and december are relatively pretty low in terms of running if you can see january is already higher than those and you know we're not even over with the month and it's more than half for november it's like four times the amount moving on to cycling in terms of cycling this is one of my weaknesses in the full year i went and did 36.1 kilometers of biking uh, it's not my best uh activity it's an average of three kilometer monthly <laughs> that says it all i mean i have a little bit in april a little bit of september october cycling is definitely something i want to take on in 2024 i want my numbers to go up i am going to remake this video in a year see how that went we have the total time of two hours and 36 minutes for the whole year it's almost zero but it you know it is something but i'd like it to be much higher yeah 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 calories 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 cycling calories total calorie a uh, thousand three hundred and sixty nine calories a hundred and fourteen calories monthly <laughs> It is not as bad as swimming. <laughs> I mean, there's not much to say about swimming. I didn't. I just didn't swim. I thought I had at least one activity this summer. No one. So this is definitely something I'm going to do in 2024. Not right now because it is currently snowing, but... <sighs> yeah as soon as i can swim i'm going to swim and i know some of you might say like you can go indoors you can go to public pools obviously i can do that indoors i like swimming outdoors i like i, I like swimming with the sun i like being outdoors when it's sunny and hot and warm and that's part of my experience for me um so yeah definitely want to swim more so overall as you can see I'm thinking about like implementing more running and definitely, definitely cycling and swimming. Like I want to swim more. I want to see how that impacts me. I've never been a swimmer, but 
I mean, this is definitely something I want to see and figure out if it has an impact on me. Do I like it? Do I not like it? Don't think I've ever done it enough to know. That can be interesting. I think that's all for today. I am going to wish you the best day possible and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. If you enjoyed this video and you want to see more of me, here is a playlist of running content. If you're looking to get into running or improve your running technique, I have plenty of advice for you on there. I hope you enjoyed this video i hope you are going to subscribe leave a like and a comment if you have the time and i will see you in the next video